I finally got my cells delivered last night and these are the the new 2700 cells Sanyo L NCR 2700B 6612 and this particular cells are 4000 milliamps for 4 amps and uh, 15 amp discharge um, so I got them from uh, IMR and I previously ordered for them and their cells will come very well packed this time that was not the case it came in this box uh, no bubble wrap uh, no plastic uh, enclosure casing for the cells uh, the boxes are actually rattling and uh, the boxes are a little bit damaged um, so I uh, visually inspected the, four, the first box and the cells seem to be fine there's no visual damage uh, so I uh, charged them uh, with the Nightcore D4 charger I will discharge them with uh, eye charger and this power supply. So, throughout this video, I'll try to answer a few of the questions that actually uh, uh, came um, through my uh, older videos. This is what I use uh, as a charging, as a charging for testing and and uh, uh, charging my uh, electric uh, scooters or uh, skateboards. Uh, I bought this power supply uh, from eBay. Here are the specs. The maximum I could pull was about 850 or 900 watts, so uh, 16 uh, amps or 17 amps, that's the highest speed, with only one. If you need a full, full 30 amps um, charge discharge, um, you will need at least uh, two of them uh, connected in series to get 1400 amps. So if you buy a power supply, the biggest advice is if it says 1000 watts required for the charger, go above 1200 or more so this uh, in this case I have a perfect system that actually works efficient and uh, the charger will last you years um, otherwise if you put less than that uh, you'll probably harm uh, the charger or the power supply uh, now going back to the batteries um, uh, another question which was uh, frequently asked uh, why you call 2170 2700 or why you call uh, 2700 is 2170. I don't know if I got it right. So yeah, so different batteries. There are 18650s. There's 2700s and 2170. Uh, so just to clarify that, uh, there's one main standard as of right now, and that's 18650s, which come with different capacity. Going back to 2700s, this is not a standard, but it's a new cell produced by Panasonic. And mainly is used for is used right now for uh, cordless tools, power tools. Twenty one seventy is the new Tesla cell uh, format, which is slightly bigger than twenty seven hundred cells produced by Panasonic. And if we go by what Tesla stated previously, it should contain a different chemical uh, structure. Another question which was asked, when will 2170 be available? And uh, people ask about the specs, the chemistry. I personally don't have the answer, but I truly believe that those cells will not be available unless you buy a Tesla Model 3 and you take it apart or you get your hands on uh, uh, damaged uh, Tesla Model 3 or if you buy a Tesla Model X or Model S which will be produced now and I'm not sure if they'll use that cell for those cars but if they do that will be the only other way or if you let's say four years five years from now you buy those uh, module that actually are not longer used uh, for the Tesla going back to which will be the standard when is that gonna happen maybe it is going to be standard for uh, more compact uh, more powerful battery it might be the case only for those devices now 2170 I don't think it's going to be a standard only going to be used for electric vehicles and um, again going back to when it's going to be available Tesla committed to provide half a million cars by the end of 2019 or 2020 having all these contracts with uh, or agreements with uh, Toyota and Mercedes I don't think they will be able uh, to fulfill those uh, requests as of right now since the Gigafactory is still not 100% completed and it will take time to ramp up the production. My goal is to 
uh, fully charge the cells and discharge them uh, and uh, see the true capacity of the cells uh, on the Panasonic website it states that uh, this particular cell has uh, 4250 milliamps or 4.25 amps and uh, 15 amps discharge rate so uh, on the, the imr.com it states only 4000 milliamps or 4 amps and 15 amps discharge so I would uh, really like to discharge them and see what's the true capacity at 5 amps uh, 10 amps and the 15 amps uh, rate now 15 amp discharge is going to be uh, a bit tricky um, I'll have to make sure I'll get the protective gear and uh, I do it in a safe environment just in case the cell bursts or explodes or catches on fire uh, now I will be uh, monitoring the cell with a thermometer and uh, as soon as it hits uh, let's say 80 or 90 uh, uh, degrees in Celsius, I will probably stop the process. But um, I finally got them. I'm very excited. Uh, I cannot wait to test them. And um, as I get all this set up and uh, ready for testing, uh, I will uh, share with you my results in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.